First of all, be your talent before your boobs or your ass. Take it from me. My name is Edinate and this is BTS. Are you, are you ready? I beg you. Are you, are you recording? Are you sure? Hmm. I feel very humbled because I'm with my boss. Jesus, I'm with my boss. He's a writer, he's a director, he's a producer, he's a preacher. Boss, how are you doing? Chairman, <laughs> chairman. I don't lay down. I don't lay down. Tell me about the mess, true. Ian, man. <laughs> Soldier. Pascal, I, mean, I don't know what to even ask you. I will start the on a. The dollar is 13 cities, by the way. The dollar is how much? 13 cities. Okay. I. <laughs> <laughs> Please, I don't want to talk about the dollar. I don't want to talk about the dollar. <laughs> Pascal, I don't know what number you are on in terms of directing. This is number A. It's going to be hard, though. Uh, okay, um, there's this thing I saw, I saw uh, a couple of days ago. They said 83. Yes, it was on, it was on Google also. But I, I went to, and I think I, I saw some films that weren't there, so I think it should be around. Maybe around roughly maybe 90, about 90. This is legendary. You have directed about 90 movies. Which one is your favorite? It will be hard to tell. Um, I, I, I don't know how to pick a favorite. I think that in every season, maybe your head now is for like your drama genre and then you move again. I, I, I don't know. For, for me, the, most, the one that had the most impact in my life personally, most fulfilling. It's not even a big film. It's God is African. And that's not because of my faith sentiments, please, I beg. Not because I want to form like I'm, you know, spiritual. Or no. For me personally, because it's had the most impact in lives of people. And it's not necessarily like, you know, it's not the next cinematic thing you're going to find. It's a very basic <laughs> story in terms of its technicality. So, yeah. But impact, fulfilling, and me as a, when I sit back and I feel like I sh I'm, I'm proud doing this, it's God is African. It's important creating value in people's life. And so long as you will be able to impact people, that is very remarkable. Uh, it's, every film is not for uh, entertainment and all of that. So I think God is African is one of your best I have seen as well. It's something that there's passion following it. So you can see that in the movie. What drives you to say, I want to do the script? Um, before it was just plain creative madness. You know how you well, like you think about this crazy idea, you know, and you just want to, whether it was this steaming, sex driven character, whatever it is back in the day. Like, we're all like, you know, you know, just creatives and all that. But now I think it's more about um, you try and see the script or the film through the eyes of the viewer. What impact will it have? Here we go again. Am I in Lagos? <laughs> what impact will it have? on the viewer and then what message the film carries. I think I'm big on that now, the message of the film, how it inspires hope and all of that. Now you, you go through your career, you understand that films is such a great tool for influencing cultures, shaping minds and ideologies. So that point now is what message the film carrying? What impact when I walk away from this, I meet somebody, you know, how are their lives, how would their lives change by saying this? So I think now I'm big on the message and, and film as a tool for change in our society. Talking about change, you have been very instrumental in the Ghana film industry. Your name resonates. You can't talk about Ghana film industry between 2005, six downwards to now and not mention Pascal. You have contributed enormous to this industry. So far, where do you think we are headed? Hmm. I, it's, as painful as it sounds, I just can't, for the first time in a long time, I can't say we're headed here. Um, I think the, the very honest answer would be, I don't know. Um, the way things are looking now, I don't know. We had a joke when you work, I said uh, almost an industry. I, I don't know if we still have one. Um, I always say kudos to, I always mention, I don't know if they hear them, I always say to them, you know, kudos to people like Kobe Rana, who have continued to make films. Excuse me, young man. Young man, don't you, don't, you don't have respect. You don't have respect. You don't have respect. Yeah. Elderly people, they do interview. Free bond, there, there. Don't block the lights, my friend. 
This is behind the scenes, you know, you know. <laughs> give me, give me, give me, give me a key light, please. <laughs> <laughs> Pascal, still on the still on the topic. Yes, yes, I don't know. I don't know. So the Kobe kudos. I don't know how that guy has kept on making films. You know, he's always consistent. Every other day, boom, boom is there. Even though my crew, I'm like, guys, where are you getting this money from? I don't know. So I mean, I don't I don't think it's still an industry. I don't know. We're we're just we're just the passion is still there. So every now and then, you know, the creative suffers when you don't create. So you are pushed to do something. But I honestly don't know where we're headed. We have to go back to the drawing board and then just, you know, um, the basics. How do women get films out? Distribution, marketing, all of that. Anyone making films now, I tell you, they are taking a huge risk. Mark my words. A huge, because you don't have any guarantee on the returns. You have no guarantees when they come back. Channels and all that. So we are, we're on a road to where we're coming with, road to nowhere. Back in the days when you guys came in yourself, um, uh, Frank Raja, you revived the industry and you put that at a pedestal that we could be recognized in the world. Now the Nigerians have taken over. I mean, you're a Nigerian, but you are now part of us. You are, you are like Ghanaian. Yeah, yeah. But they have taken over. What do you think we need to do? You've mentioned, you've mentioned of course, the distribution. But what do you think we need to do besides distribution? to make our things stronger and appealing to a greater audience? We're, Ghanaians, we are too content as a people. So we've not evolved. And uh, Nigerians have, at every point in time they've had a challenge. They've, Takashi, you know, they never say die. Even when it got so bad that the so-called Alaba market VCD shut down, bam, they went into online platforms. Rock became a thing for them, you know, revived the industry, was commissioning about give and take about 300 films a year. I think that number has gone up now. When it looked like rock was congested, mm, they went into YouTube. Now, there's a whole market for YouTube films. Artists like Destiny Tico, all that, there's such a, a sensation. So they never just, we are too relaxed as a people. It's not working, oh, we are so there. And it's, it's a Ghanaian thing. It's, it has its own merits, because we are, we are a very serene society. But then again, the Nigerians know how to take it by force. So I think that's the problem. Even when cinemas came, started with two cinemas now, they have over close to 100. Yeah, I mean, so I think we, we just, we're too content as a people and we think what comes to us, we don't go out to make it. So we have not private sector investment, zero. zero. If the government doesn't do it, private sector. Nigerian senators gave private people raised, people, um, uh, Ramses living in bondage was shot for eight months, sponsored by somebody. He was should go and break, should go and break. Um, Smartest was going to make a film and we're trying to, this is, you know, uh, I'll say this for the interview. We're trying to use the DP that Ramsey used for living in bondage because it's close to our, our, our boss, Madame Selassie. And he says, Pascal, the guy can only shoot about four or five scenes a day. You know, they waste the money now. So we said we're shooting for two weeks. He said, please don't make it one month. <laughs> so we are here in Ghana. We see the films. Hey! A tribe content then. And people go on, on people go on rampage on Facebook. I say, guys, chill, chill, chill. We can't raise the investment these guys raised to put on film. We don't have, have the markets for to guarantee distribution. So we're not about to hit that height. We, we're not about to go there. We're not about to go there. It's such a society that there somebody can somebody can sit down and say, a private person and say, okay, I'm dropping hundred thousand dollars, make a film. You won't get that here. Even when we do corporate shows, how many sponsors were? Okay, our golden movie, I was what happened to it. It went down. You get sponsors for even you try and try and do an event and go and look for sponsorship. They'll give you bottled water, 17 packs, and give you moral support. So how many? So it's, our society works differently. So it's difficult if we wait for the government and the NFA can so you know policies and all that. But really, the movie industry, Iroko is owned by private person. It's run by private people who put money in films. So here, the dynamics are different, sight is different, so it's a problem. So I think we, we need, it's a mental change we need to get to that place. And until we do that, we're still going to have this, you know. This, and then let me say this, because I always say this to them. Most of our actors now live in Nigeria. <coughs> they live in Nigeria. Most of them live in Nigeria. So you should be telling us something. Nigeria is doing something great. They're doing something great. They live in Nigeria. Most of them, they're not even in Nigeria doing so-called, what they call so-called cinema films. They are there doing, you know, YouTube films, and they are okay. I mean, the goal of an actor is to be seen and be appreciated. Whether it's YouTube or it's um, whatever bed, as long as people scared to see my work and I'm paid. Yeah, so... Yeah. Do you think that actors, or would you advise actors to go into doing YouTube movies now? 
I think it's sensible too. I think it's sensible. Why not? It's a, it's a template that has worked for most Nigerians are doing that. Almost all the actors in Nigeria have a YouTube channel now. Yeah. Eddie Watson's one is doing so well. Ruth Kadiri is like a younger starter. Me, she's flying. She's she's flying. She like, has a movie ready every week. So why not? Why not? We should. We should. We should. Let's talk about casting. You have probably worked with almost everybody in the industry, if not everybody, when it comes to celebrities. Usually, I mean, or lately, you don't really do the celebrity thing. You have young people coming up, and I see them mostly in your movies. Why did you choose to do that? Uh, because I think the industry has changed, you know. It's not about being on set with somebody who's flipping their hair 17 times, worried about the shape of their eyebrow, when that's not what the character is demanding. It's not about somebody who's flicking their nails and you can't push them, they don't have depth. You know, not they don't have, sorry. I don't, I, when I get into my elements, I tend to sound like this. My apologize. Like, I, I think now, okay, maybe personally, and I know you've done that as well. You've gone to raise a whole bunch of young people. Yeah, you've done as well. I think for the kind of stories you want to tell, you want to have time to people who are ready to push themselves in the depth. Uh -huh. uh, so if I don't have all the money in the world to be to be getting all the equipment I want, at least the acting should sp speak for itself. So people who are ready to know that they have something to prove. Uh -huh. Go and this is where we used to do anything and then throw them in VCD's place and then they'll fly an opera on a Monday. Oh, yeah, loving the stars. Oh, wait, 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 and they'll fly. No, uh -huh. you know, those are gone now. So you want people who know that, yes, I'm on the set. Let me put work into the character and uh, push you know, uh, push myself in it. Every now and then I do, you know, an A-list, whatever that means, so, you know, you know the, but I primarily, for me, the first thing that comes to the cast is, you know, will this person give their all? For example, God is African Rosen in Giza. I wanted somebody, you know, whose first approach to the role is not I have acne or I'm breaking out. I want, I, I love this role and I want to kill it. So that really, that's what informs, you know, um, choice of cast. Now beyond, you know, of course somebody looking like the character physically, but at least someone who's a, who's a director's actor, I think for me that's what it is. My very last project I did with you, if I remember, is Deadline, which is like two, 2012. Why don't you cast me in your movies? <laughs> Jeff, take, Jeff, come, come and sit down. <laughs> okay, this is what I think. Because somebody asked me that. I won't mention their name. A very desi started me, asked me that. And it hurt me so badly because I respect her so much. Respect her so much. I won't mention her name, but she said, you know her. And she said it, it looked like it was deliberate. But I think that the issue was, if you look 2012 to now, um, the many factors. None of them is the fact that you say, mm, I won't work with this person again. The, how they, how my career just evolved, who you were working with and all of that. M me personally, that was my, I think that was my deadline was before um, the Boko Haram film. I think that was my last time I produced. You get to a place where, you, where you're working with producers who have a market idea of what sells their films. So you are trying to cast within the ambits of what they think is good for their film. And also finding the balance between who you think would deliver as an actor or the character and commerciality, who do you think? So I've worked with that ambit for a couple of years. Oh, this and all that. Now, it took me a while to get to the point where after uh, Boko Haram failed commercially, that film was too many while I banned in the market, that's why I said I'm producing again. Now I'm in the place where I now can't produce. So now I can now decide, wake up my feel like, you know, I'm doing a one cast film, Zedinati. I don't care if it doesn't sell as, an, as a filmmaker, it's, film. it's my film. So I wasn't in that space for a couple of years. It was either, you know, Venus, all that. So you are, you're trying to play the politics of what works for the, for the producer, you as well as a filmmaker, all of that. Now, I mean, that's why I feel like, you know what, this is who I want to. That's why I can wake up and say, you know what, a blessed fortune is my lead role. You don't like it, it's your business. For me, I feel this is a character. Uh -huh. So I think that's what affected me personally. So it wasn't a little bit of, because, again, somebody called me, I said this, somebody called me and said, they wanted you to, to direct the film for them, and they were asking me, stupid talk, industry people, asking me if you could do the job. So I said to them, one, because I didn't know if I was on speaker. Me, I'm very honest. I didn't know if he was recording me. So I'll be, I said to them, but I'll be shocked if Edinate is not a good director. It will be shocked me, because he's done it all, from acting to even professional training in school to all these years. I'll be shocked. Tell him what you want, and he will deliver. You get So we're such an industry that there's little gimmicks. You know, I could have said something different now. The person is for line, and then you'll be the next call. Hey, Pascal said, 
you know you know how it works huh? so a lot, a lot happens behind the scene when you're casting that people don't get to know about people's face are just decided by some flimsy comments i don't want this i like this person because they are not cool with me or we're not and because you are trying to pay bills you work in that free for a while so it gets to a point you know, i'm sick of this i'm not commercial anymore that's why i can't write for anybody i can't i remember the last time i wrote for somebody comments because you won't pay what i want and then possibly make a mess of the script so that's that's what that's what it is but there are people not because you're here you and then somebody else that i've not worked for a long time i'll, I'll see their name i've not worked with like and i really want to do a film with them i was on record one of the best in this industry gloria Safo. one of the very very best when it comes to role interpretation my last film with gloria was desperate to survive that film i was which is 2012 in 12 years, she's my sister, and she's like, I, I can't even explain. <laughs> Talk to her every time, but I mean, <laughs> yes, I mean, I'm all for her, man. She's a, she's very supportive. She will post everybody's stuff. Gloria is there. She's the world celebrates. She support everybody, and I'm like, what? why? Why? Because Gloria, <laughs> me, I don't know. Me myself, I don't know. I don't explain. No, I like really. And when you're shooting, and you, you're like, you feel like, I mean, why? And she's she's. I mean, as an actor who delivers. She's amazing. So there are people like that and really the industry is just just a funny place. My last resolve is that you know what? God makes everything come together at his own time. So I'm sure there'll be a film where there's the grand self and like, yeah, great. Finally, we've broken the ice and it's an amazing film. The puzzle will definitely fall in place. Pascal, you are a director. There are a few people that I know that they are doing well now that we need to call them out, like actors. So people will look out for them. Which people would you now mention to the world that listen, watch out for these people? Oh, what kind of question is this? <laughs> Let's pick them up. Oh, okay. Okay, people I've worked with. Okay, now so I'll say people I've worked with and those I have. Because I, I watch people a lot from a distance. I just, yes, I, I, I like to be. Okay, so. Um, three males in no particular order. Okay, four. Three and four. Okay, first of all, no particular order. I've always used to ad admire Anthony Wood. I think he has intensity I like. So I, I, I saw that in him from when I, we did Salman's No Man's Land back in the day. He has that in, he's very intense. I like intensity. Maybe it's my, my style and all that. The depth, yeah. yeah. Like that's his way, yeah. Yeah, so I like that. Then um, Jeffrey Notte, I think he's intelligent. Because I always tell people that directors don't, even in Japan, all we do is talk. You are not so angry. You are very angry. It's the actor who now interprets not so angry. So if you can't be surprised, what are you doing on the set? Like that thing. I want to strangle myself. Like go and sell baby's clothes. Go and be nursing. Go and, go and be a receptionist. Why do you want to act if you can't be surprised? Yeah. What? You can't express surprise. Why? What are you doing here? Why are you doing here? Why? Go and be a lawyer. Go and do something else. Why must you act? Like just walk into a surgical theater. I just take example and I want I want to tear somebody open and and, and do um, uh, what you call it um, uh, CS. Like I don't understand it. So, in, in, acting requires a measure of intelligence. So I think Jeff is very intelligent in receiving information and interpreting. Um, I admire Kwesi Blay. Uh, it might look like he's not so much of a depth-driven guy, but I think he has a finesse with his acting. Yeah, I admire him a lot. Uh, I think he has a he has that, that thing has worked for most people in Hollywood, that, fam, that aura. He has that, he can be smooth. Uh, I think it's left with the director to know how to yeah, use him. Yeah, he has that, 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 you know, that glow like as an actor. So there are three names. And then lastly, what, um, uh, was it last year, I, I worked with someone I also felt, initially I was looking at him like, this guy, you know, and all that from this one. And I work with him, you know, Omari, Omari, then we are, I worked with Omari. And then I realized, okay, no, I, you know, some actors were on set, you don't really get to see what they are doing. When you go on the, st the studio, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I still don't know why. I've been here, so I don't know. Like, some people on set, they act with their, and just say muzzle. Then you go on set, and you realize that, ah, what was I doing? <laughs> They look so perfect on set, and then when it says, and they are, I don't know, maybe I think we directors will get caught up in emotions sometimes, and people are overacting, you don't know. So I think, yeah, Omari, I, I realized that no, it's very, it combines intensity with intelligence, and I think he, he delivers when you, you know, it's sort of the eyelid or some reaction, more like what's this, like um, what DME has. It's very good. So those four names for me, um, I haven't, as a guy I watch from a distance. What's the guy's name? Ben, Ben something. 
Ben, uh, what? Ben Affleck, yes, from a distance. I haven't seen anything. I haven't seen a clip, but I think I saw the recent thing I was on Aquaman Magic. What's that thing called? Uh, yeah, he does a scene that just came out. Like, he got my attention. Yes, my attention that I saw. That I saw. Yes, I think yeah. If I've skipped any names, I don't know, but that's... Oh, but you're making the male enjoy. Let the female also enjoy. Yeah, females. And this is like a huge bias in this. You're thinking we have Jeffrey Notter, we have Anthony Wood, we have uh, uh, Omari, we have Chrissy Blee, we have Ben Affat. At least we've recommended Ben Affat. You guys should watch out for these guys because they go take over the industry. And then the female? Females. Um, okay, let me see. Let me put my head together. This one bias they'll say because he's my child, but it's okay, I'll say it and the same and the same. Okay. <laughs> That's what I will say. Okay, fem females, I think the same thing goes for Blessed Fortune. But if you even didn't mention her name, I would have mentioned her name. <laughs> <laughs> same intensity again, being able to reach for depth. Uh -huh. I think for me, I like an actor where I can I can wake you up and throw yes. back. Now I know that I know that, yes, you will you will yeah, you kill it. And people always think that me with me and blessed. People think that it's just like people think that she maybe she lives in my mind. So we we have it on set. We have Conflict on set. There are moments where she's beyond her limits, and I can see that she's breaking. I don't care. Because I know that someone someone will make up after. So it's not, it's not like a walk in the park, or I just I wave my hand and she just becomes it. No. There are moments where I feel like, you know, I stretched. God's African 2 was like a huge, beyond the stretch. And I can see her breaking, and I take my face off like, you know, because I, I know that, I, I think, I demand that because I know she has it. Maybe that's what it is. So bless here yeah, on that list. Um, Females, ah, hmm. Okay, then this I work with a young lady, man. I didn't know she was so good. Jennifer, Jennifer Biney. Oh my goodness, to Jennifer to Biney. I knew her from Venus Films back in the day. I want to work, so she's and I work to her category. I understand, man. The girl delivered like, oh, um, you know, I tried not to clap. She, I mean, she was good. The role was somebody who was a bit off, and she delivered well, you know. So I even recommended her to Smarties recently. I, sh I thought she did so well. Jennifer told me she, she, was, she was quite, she was good, very good. Um, so who else on the list? Mm. I'm filtering, I'm filtering because a lot of, a lot of, um, I'm taking off those who twerk on Instagram, those who just do makeup, and see those who really are meant to act. Forgive me, I'm old school, so I see all these ones in my So Jennifer, second on the list. Who else, there? Who else is there? Who else is there? Who else? Pascal, so all the people that we know on Instagram and all of that, that they are upcoming like this, that they twerk and everything. You don't want to mention. If you mention somebody, I will say yes. I'm, I'm, I'm who? Um, somebody I've watched for. Um, okay, yeah. Uh, well, um, f um, I work with her once. Um, it's a baby. I think that she's. Um. I think that she has her. She has. A lot that works for her act. I think that she's, she's done well. Recently, I saw a clip of something she produced herself, which I really liked. Um, Malek sent from something just to see, and I thought that was good. Um, she can pass off as. Um, I, I don't. Know, I don't. What's the word to use now? As maybe, a f stereotyped for being maybe a hard girl, whatever it is you want. But I think if if you're able to have the patience to break her, she always delivers. She was also in um, when I did Inside Out, so I think she yeah, she's 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 done well as as well. It's a baby for herself. She's done very well. No other name comes to mind for me now. And maybe they are all going. I don't remember who I've seen that has you know really been. Um, there's a girl that Kobe uses. What's the name of that girl? Bless. There's a girl that Kobe uses. I've seen her twice in Kobe's films. She had a tint. Sandra. I don't know her last name. I know Sandra. Yes, yes. You see, I don't even know her name, but I just watch. Yeah, she is good. She's good. She's good. I went to. Yeah, I saw her. I think it was was it in Steven's film. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so I've seen. I, she's good. See, I don't even know her name. She is good. Yeah. I, I've always wanted to work with her, but it's not been. Yeah, she's good. She, I've, she's good. She has this carry herself that I, I think is really, very, really, very believable. She's good. Thank you very much, Pascal. There's one thing that you have, in my audience. They do watch you. They do do everything. So please. What do you have to tell people who love filmmaking, they want to act, they want to come into the industry? Just one advice for them. Make the film, come into the industry. It might look difficult. Don't, don't take everything I said into, I mean, we come to the industry, but even when we're getting to it, it wasn't that good. But we came in and we made a career. So get into it. Majid always says the only way to, to be a filmmaker is to be a filmmaker.
<laughs> so get a camera, shoot your film, make a bad film, learn from your mistakes. So get on set, act. There are no auditions now, there are no open readings, but you know, message Adenati, message me, people you know, try and get into it, PMs and all that. Chase your dreams. Don't let no one tell you you can't do it. Your dreams are valid. It worked for us years ago. It will still work for you today. So just get on it. Do what you can. You will fall. You make mistakes. But all I say when you're in it, just keep your dignity intact. If you know you have the talent, you have the gifting, that is all you need beyond networking and good PR to sell yourself. It's not a work in the park. It will take you a while, but keep at it. And do not sell your dignity. You know what I mean, young ladies. Come in, keep your prestige, your honor. If a director sees you and you are good, every director tell me, even the one who is a mad raving dog likes good acting. I'm telling you, even the one you call the most you likes, if you would deliver on set, first of all, be your talent before your boobs or your ass. Take it from me. So make sure you are good at what you do. Everything is secondary. And of course, pray, have a prayer life, trust God, your dreams will come to pass. Thank you very much, Pascal.